Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to export high quality videos to Blu-ray disc uh, using Final Cut Pro and Toast Titanium. So in this uh, video I'm using a Pioneer BDR XD05 TS, it's a Blu-ray writer uh, and it records on Blu-ray and DVD but obviously you can use any one you like but yeah this is uh, one I reviewed and it looks, looks quite good. Alright guys, so first open Final Cut Pro uh, and open your project up. So it's the project I'm going to uh, render to the highest quality possible video. So you want to render it and share it. So select the, the right hand side, select the box of the arrow coming out and go master file default. There's an option here to uh, name it. As well as uh, you can see the space there, how much space it's going to take up uh, on my computer or hard drive. Install hard drive, so we want to just see from my computer if we can store on there. So you go about this Mac, the top left, and go storage. Um, and this is the, the amount of storage I've got on the computer available. Next, we select settings, we go to video codec, and you want to select the best uh, option, so that's the top option. I have uh, tried the others out, and uh, yes, it's definitely your best quality video. Now when you're ready, click next. You select where you want to save it to. So if you don't see it all, just um, obviously click that arrow there and it'll show all your destinations. And once you're ready, yeah, just click OK. And yeah, it just says obviously this is already on my computer, but I'll replace it. And there you go, it's um, done it quite quickly, but yeah, usually it might take quite a long while for you. So. So it's my video here, which pops up on the screen. If it doesn't, don't worry, um, it's because you haven't selected that option. Right, this is um, you know, how long it'll take for it to render on your computer. And so it's all completely on there. Now we'll close that. Alright guys, so now we're going to open Toast Titanium. This menu comes up and it gives you a list of options on what you want to save it onto. So you've got standard DVDs, the first option. You've got Blu-ray video, which is Blu-ray disc. That's two hours worth of high definition video. And the high definition DVD, which is standard DVD, um, which works like a Blu-ray disc, but um, lets you store up to 30 minutes only. So for this video, I'm just gonna select Blu-ray disc, but I could use a standard DVD uh, for HD, the HD option. Now, find your uh, video on your computer and drag and drop it into Toast Titanium. There you go, it appears there. So for this, um, I would edit all my text, any text I could see, because um, it would come up on your on your DVD menu or Blu-ray disc menu when you put it in your, in your player. So I'll just edit it because uh, you might not want certain things to come up, like your date and time, etc. As of note, yeah, I would use probably a normal sort of DVD, but the 30 minute option one on this, because uh, uh, DVDs are cheaper than Blu-ray discs. So yes, yeah, so that's why I'd, uh, I'd use a standard DVD, because it's only eight minutes long, this video. Now, you select the uh, different menu options. So you want to select Saturn, and this is where your quality comes in. So you've got good, better, or best. I'd select best for this. That's actually best quality. And this is how much space it will take up on your on your disc. Let's say it's so much room on there, so yeah, you can put it to two hours. Now I'm um, click edit and then chapters. Uh, select a chapter. So it's how where you want your chapters to go. So I'm just selecting every ten minutes. Now I'd select the customize option as well because um this text. Uh, make them up on your on your DVD uh, menu, like I said. So you know, delete my movie, which is the standard bit where it always comes up. Now that picture won't really change; um, it doesn't on mine but, um, preview, but but it will um it will come up on your DVD menu for whatever text you put in. So 
So there's a few options to choose from here. Select OK. But um, overall, yeah, your best quality is under quality. Yeah, for this, you just select best. Now, once you're ready, just select burn. Bottom right. And it'll blow in your Blu-ray disc. 